Now, your Doppler 10 weather forecast. Hey, good afternoon, folks. Yes, yeah, another windy, warm, and humid day, but we add the dynamic of Saharan dust to the visibility factor out there. Let's take a look at your live weather bug camera downtown where you can see, yes, lots of clouds out there, but you can see that milky haze out there, and that's the what we call the SAL, the Saharan aerosol layer, between about 5 and 15, maybe 18,000 feet above ground level. But a lot of that makes it to the ground in that if you have respiratory issues or allergies, uh, this may uh, adversely affect you. So stay indoors if you can uh, until this abates. Meantime, temperatures in the upper 80s here, that gusty south-southeasterly wind, and across the area, the infrared satellite loop uh, for the last several hours showing basically fair skies across our area, but it is indeed hazy out there, just no precipitation. Uh, across southern regions of the country, uh, the high pressure is pretty much dominant in the upper atmosphere, so you're not any, seeing any significant rain. What you are seeing is significant heat, and we're talking triple digits from the brush country in the middle Rio Grande Plains, northward through the Concho Valley, on into the low rolling plains where you've got triple digits all the way up oh, to about the Red River and 90s elsewhere across the state. We're one of the cool spots there, relatively speaking, in the middle to upper 80s across our uh, coastal zones. But when you factor in this, uh, dew points in the lower 80s, my goodness, 83 degrees your dew point in Beeville. Well, all of a sudden we're talking about uh, heat index values that are not just uncomfortable, they're dangerous. 114 in Alice, 117 your current B, uh, Beeville heat index value. Don't go out if you don't have to. That's just plain dangerous. It's hazardous to your health. Now, uh, as we watch this during the next couple of days, we're going to see those heat index values not be quite as extreme uh, Thursday into Friday, but what you are going to see is the air temperature start to come up a bit. Right now, visibility is actually down six, seven miles in some places because of that haze, but it's not fog, it's haze, it's the dust layer. Now, the next couple of days, what we're gonna see is virtually no precipitation. A couple little sprinkles out there north and east of us with those little weak streamer showers, but they're not gonna last very long. The upper level high overhead is really the dominant factor. In fact, it's gonna stick around so much for the next several days, well, very little rainfall out there. Finally, by the early part of next week, well, Tuesday into Wednesday, you'll see a little bit of shower activity. And that's as that upper level high actually shifts off to the west and we get a little instability wrapping around a surface low and an upper level low to give us a little bit of moisture here Tuesday and Wednesday. But between now and then, well, the only thing we're looking at is a small craft advisory down south of us for the coastal waters until 7 p.m. tonight. In fact, tonight, uh, we're looking at cloudy and windy conditions, obviously humid out there, 77 your overnight low. Tomorrow, partly cloudy, hazy, breezy, heat index values, again, 105 to 109, hitting around the lower to even middle 90s tomorrow afternoon. Again, those heat index values dominant right on through the 4th of July, and heat goes on. Isolated showers by the middle of next week. Bill, thank you. During the